OBS can be tricky, especially when it comes to audio. Maybe you're having problems where your audio is choppy, it lags behind your video, it's too quiet, or maybe you're getting an echo. All these problems are easily fixable and I'm gonna show you how to do it today. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, then subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. I get a pretty decent number of OBS audio questions every single day. And setting up OBS audio can be really challenging, but after this video, you're going to be able to identify what the problem is and fix it. One of the biggest questions I get is folks having problems with looping audio. The most common cause of this is that you are playing the stream unmuted in your browser and it's being captured by your output capture device or your microphone. To fix this, mute the stream in your browser. This audio is always delayed up to 30 seconds. Also make sure you're wearing headphones so your audio is not playing out of your speakers. Looping guest audio is another big one. If you're having guests on through any conferencing software, you're going to need to be able to actually hear them to interact. Nearly all of the guest looping audio issues are caused by people not wearing headphones. You can't play the audio through your speakers when you're using a microphone and expect it not to loop back in. You must be wearing headphones in order to have guests on your live stream. They don't have to be humongous cans, they can actually be just tiny little headphones and you can even get some that are small enough to hide so no one knows you're wearing it. But you still have to wear it in order to be able to hear your guests. Another big one is your audio looping or causing an echo on your own live stream. More often than not, this is caused by OBS adding a default device, sometimes automatically to your streams. Make sure there is one instance of your local microphone in each scene be sure to check for hidden sources as well. NDI issues when you're adding a camera or a guest from Skype are a special kind of thing. If you're adding a cell phone as a second camera or something like that, you wanna make sure that that NDI source is muted, probably at the NDI source, which means you're going to mute that microphone on the actual phone. You don't need it because you have a physical microphone that you're probably using with your first camera. And even if that cell phone is your only camera, you should still probably be using an external microphone, which means you wanna definitely make sure that you mute that one that's on the cell phone. Bringing NDI guests on through Skype with a Mac is a special kind of issue. I've seen a lot of Macs that bring that audio in and they have everyone on the same track, which means that for each person that you add to the stream, it adds the same audio track. And sometimes that even combines your audio track. And if you run into these problems, you wanna go ahead and just mute every single one of them. I've even run into issues on a Mac where my audio is coming in through the Skype NDI as well, which means I have to remove my local microphone from the stream and just use the Skype audio because there's no way to remove myself from that audio and still have my guests here. So when you're dealing with NDI issues as it pertains to audio, the best thing to do is kind of just mute everything and start unmuting until you have the audio you want. And chances are that's going to fix all the looping audio problems, echoey audio, and of course choppy audio as well because it's only processing one audio source then. It's certainly not ideal, but sometimes on a Mac, this is just what we have to deal with. If all else fails with looping audio, what you wanna do is close down all of your browser tabs. Go in and unhide any audio sources and start muting every single one. Then add one individual source at a time to see which one is which. Make sure you're not accidentally doubling up on any audio sources and only unmute the ones you absolutely need. I guarantee if you take the time to go through this, you will solve your looping audio problems. I've run into people asking me questions about why their audio is so soft when adding a guest. And this is in particular a Mac problem. When you're using a piece of software like I show you or something like that to aggregate your audio to put it into one signal that you can use on your live streams, it actually takes the volume level that you set before you turn on the I show you and that's what it's going to broadcast. So what you wanna do is make sure that you turn your volume all the way up then change it to the iShowU device. 
Then you can adjust the volume as necessary in OBS. That should solve the issue with your guests not being loud enough or your game not being loud enough or any other audio that you use to aggregate with one of these devices. The next common problem we're gonna attack is video and audio that is out of sync. If you're using a microphone that's not directly connected to your camera or your streaming live guests, this can be a pretty common problem. The fix for either situation is exactly the same. First, we're gonna go into advanced properties for the audio source that's causing the problem. Next, let's make sure we can hear the audio. We're gonna do this by changing audio monitoring for that source to monitor and output. Now you should be able to hear it through your headphones. Now we can adjust the sync offset until our voices match with the video. Another way to do this, depending upon your situation, is to right click on your video source and go to filters. Then click the plus under audio and video filters and select video delay. Now you can adjust to delay your video to sync up with lagging audio. It's really that simple. Are you having other audio issues that I didn't mention here? Or maybe you have a different solution than the ones I talked about here. Please leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you're having issues with choppy video, laggy video, dropped frames, or even buffering on your live stream, you should check this video out right here. And as always, if you're looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.